Police union has cast a no-confidence vote against their police chief, Ramon Batista. But the vote doesn't mean that Chief Batista is leaving anytime soon. Matt Rodewald, live with more on the vote, the reason for it, and what it means. Matt. Well, John, the mayor and the Mesa City Council have seen these numbers by now. 564 respondents and 95% of them say they have no confidence in Chief Ramon Batista. And now, since it's an anonymous survey, we don't have any idea on whether or not these are professional staffers or whether these are all sworn in police officers that said they have no confidence in their chief. But union leaders today had a very clear message for him. Get out is no longer welcome in the Mesa Police Department. He is no longer welcome in our home, and we would like him to leave. Rank and file police officers in Mesa have had enough with their boss. It was one year ago today that Fox 10 first aired the video of unarmed Robert Johnson being beaten unconsciously by Mesa officers. And Chief Ramon Batista tried to do damage control. That's not the, the uh, training expectations that I have for our officers in a situation where somebody uh, doesn't want to sit down. Throwing officers under the bus and, and making dramatic changes to uh, how things are done overnight does nothing and all it does is it causes our officers to hesitate and hesitation gets police officers and citizens hurt and killed. The union says that the scrutiny that officers have received in the wake of the Johnson video is unfair. We bring the six o'clock news with us on every call. Our patrol officers have cameras so we bring that video. It's our video. We know it's going to be there and then when it looks terrible or, or an officer uses an expletive in the middle of a fight and then they get scrutinized for it, it's ridiculous. Everybody talks about uh, the victims and the victims. Well, our officers are the victims. And today, officers continue to justify their response one year ago. We are paid to win. Okay, when we show up to a call as a citizen, do you want your officers, do you pay your officers to lose? No, you pay them to win. So when we go there, we take action and we win. Now, if you don't comply, we're still going to win. Here is part of the statement from the chief that came down right in the middle of that press conference saying that he wants to protect and serve while showing respect and preserving human rights and that he's proud to serve the city of Mesa and to lead the men and women of the Mesa Police Department. Now, Mesa City Council Charter says that it prohibits city council members from interfering with administrative operations of the city. So this falls right on the city manager. We tried to reach out to Chris Brady today and Mayor John Giles for comment. We have not heard back as of yet. Reporting tonight, Matt Rodewald, Fox 10 News.